today we'd like to walk you through checking a original brown box display moisture meter on a 60 series machine here on a machine today. A couple little items that we would like you to look at prior to harvest to make sure that we got a moisture meter that's reading and is on the CAN bus system so our display will, our Green Star system will be able to recognize it and also we'll cover mass flow readings. First of all, in a normal running screen that you have your harvest moisture and yield with, we would push the info button. In pushing the info button, we're looking and working with the harvest monitor today, so we'll push B as harvest monitor, which then allows us to come down here to diagnostics and we will go to F for diagnostics. We have a couple choices up here. We've got the moisture sensor and we have the mass flow sensor. With the moisture sensor, if I was to look at that and try to figure out if my moisture meter is really online and working and ready for the harvest season, I would want to take a look at my temperature of the relative temperature of the day, which is 82 degrees right now. So we're within reason. That's great. That means that our moisture sensor temperature sensor is working. We don't have anything in there, so our raw moisture, of course, will be 0%. And if we drop down here to plunger, retract, and extend, we can start and stop that at this point and make sure that our plunger runs a full stroke in that moisture meter to make sure that our moisture meter is ready. As you can see, we went from an extended position to a retracted position. And if we wanted to go back the other way, we would have to cycle the key to let it start over in a home position. It worked, and that's what we're looking for. The other item I would like to bring up today is we have moist mass flow sensors. Mass flow is what actually reads the volume of grain that's coming off the clean grain elevator and gives us a true uh, bushels per acre reading. As you can see, we have raw flow, we have zero flow, and we have average flow. Well, we have found on the 60 and 70 series machines that raw flow average should be between 30 and 35,000. If it was higher or lower, I would highly recommend you call your local John Deere Prairie Land dealership and ask them for some help through diagnostics. With those items all in place and ready, we change this machine over to a run position and we change it over to wheat, we should be ready for a harvest season.